Hey guys, what's up? That's JRPG Bro here. We're jumping back into more Ghost of Tsushima. New game plus here on the PlayStation 4 Pro here. Last time we did some side quest stuff. We took care of only two side quests. They were on the longer side of things. And that jump's really going to hurt us in the long run here. But there's a lot of side stuff for us to take care of throughout the game, including these mythic quests. And we're actually going to take a look at one of them right now. Uh, this is going to be for the Heavenly Strike. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take us to do these. I know these Mythic quests are definitely a little bit longer than the regular side quests. And they might be on par with the major storylines. Because these things usually give us some pretty cool rewards. Such as a pretty dope uh, like new technique. Sometimes maybe uh, a new skin or armor piece. Something along those lines. We don't really get a lot of... It, it, it really is a pretty cool thing we're going to get here. It's called the Heavenly Strike. And we'll see it once we actually start this quest. I gotta figure out which way we're going. I think we actually passed him. I think this is this guy here. I get him, this guy confused with our storyteller for the legends. Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I'm not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts. Shigenori, the fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima. Shigenori never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. So right now, this is going to be a bit of a longer quest. We have to kind of find the person who is going after the Heavenly Strike. And then we have to kind of solve a few things here. It's not pretty cut and dry. I'm not saying it's ridiculously hard. It just takes up some time here. And this is the bridge. So we're going to take down the bridge here and see what we can find. My lord, so many is slaughtered. Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I've heard the name. He fought for the Yarikoa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. Tracks. Yasuhira was in a hurry. So 
So right now we kind of kind of follow these horse tracks here. What more do you know of Yasuhiro Koga? Only that he was a retainer for the Yarikawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Tsushima, but when the Mongols attacked, he returned. From where, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. So right now we just kind of kind of follow the horse tracks here. We gotta follow the path here. Obviously, it's not the easiest thing. They're not highlighted in red like they would be in The Witcher, because uh, we don't have Witcher senses. We're gonna lose track of them. Obviously, the games are yelled at us. Return to the the tail area. And I'm gonna feel pretty stupid. Uh, not gonna lie, when that happens, I do feel incredibly stupid. It's just how I am when I play these games. I I, I have my moments here, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, open world games are not my forte. I remember years ago, I used to play these games a lot. You know, whatever AAA title came out, I would okay. play it, and that would be what I like to play. Now it's I play them, I enjoy them, but I'm more about these JRPGs, hence the name, JRPG Bro. We do rock those games every time there's a new one. We, we, it, it piques my interest. I'll check it out. Uh, if there are any games, um, you know, you guys want to see me play JRPG-wise, let me know down in the comment section. If you want to see me play any specific PlayStation games, let me know down in the comment section as well. Uh, let me know console and platform if there's anything you want to see me play because we're open to suggestions. I'm open to see what you guys think. If you guys want to see me play something that I would absolutely suck at, uh, let me know. Uh, <laughs> I keep talking about Souls games. I'm sure someone's going to say, we want to see you play as a Souls game. And if you guys see how meh, I am at this, uh, you guys might not want to see me play one of those games. Uh, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I can't tell if this looks like kind of looks like a, a, a labor camp. I'm not sure if that's the right term I want to use. But that's what that kind of looks like right there. I don't think what we're looking for to solve this, you know, the, the Heavenly Strike thing here is here. I know it's a bit longer than this. Like I said, a lot of these uh, Mythic Tales are definitely longer. Now, obviously, I'm going to tell you this, guys, right now. We aren't going to get the Heavenly Strike. Uh, usually, if you're playing this game for the very first time, when you complete these Mythic Tales, whatever the Mythic Tale is for, you're going to get that thing for the when you do it the first time. New Game Plus, we're going to get some flowers. You already have the technique, we're going to have the ability. So we might skip over uh, a lot of these Mythic Tales. We'll see. Uh, the Mythic Tales... At this point in time, we're going to get flowers. It's not going to be real much for us. But I'm getting, we're doing this so you guys can see what a Mythic Tales quest look like. Because a lot of them kind of play out in a similar way where we talk to the uh, storyteller guy. And he's going to kind of give us the story about the specific you know, tale, the uh, ability, the piece of gear we're going to get. Uh, we get that information from him. And then we kind of move forward into... You know, the storyline for that thing, whether it takes us like 5, 10, you know, 15, 20 minutes to actually do the whole thing. And that's, it's, it's definitely an interesting uh, thing when you think about it is that we do have that, I don't want to say, the ability. We don't have to do them. I recommend doing them because, once again, if you're playing this for the first time, there are trophies associated with completing all the storylines in the game side quests and you know mythic quests and each character's uh, subsection uh, sub story so we do want to make sure we get all that done if you're playing this for the first time Yasuhira Koga anywhere we're pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga he just left he's been staying in the watchtower working with the Mongols yes but last night they argued only made out one word Chigenori I'll search the watchtower find somewhere safe before more Mongols come So it looks like we're getting little bits of information here. Uh, nothing really substantial. Something that's going to tell us what we have to do or where we have to go. So we're going to have to continue our investigation here into uh, finding this Koga guy. And I'm thinking of the Pokemon gym leader. What has Yasuhira been doing? A dueling ring. He's looking for it. So right now we gotta get our Geralt of Rivia on here and use our like those bleached by lightning in the tail. Use our detective skills here. So we gotta find these bleached leaves. The Mongols have their own version of Shigenori's tail. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. Hmm. 
Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves. There are trees like that not far from here. That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. So the next step, and this should be like the final step here, need to find white -leafed trees. is we have to find, as Jin's just said, to find white leaf trees. These are all going to be like kind of giving us a little bit of clues here and there. And the clues are going to lead us to where we have to go. And usually I think it's going to lead to something else. Uh, I think, like I said, each one is definitely a little bit different than the others. Some are, of them are going to end in like kind of like a mini boss, like dual kind of scene. Uh, others are just going to end with us, you know, Kind of going through like a cave or something like that to get a piece of equipment or something like that it's been a while like i said I'm, I'm, this isn't a game that i know the ins and outs of 100 percent uh i actually i really i'm gonna say honestly there's no game that i'm like you know 100 percent the master of like oh i am you know the best at this particular game no i play those games a lot and i know more about those games uh than I would a game, another game. So I'm gonna throw it out there. A lot, a lot of people say, "Oh, I could beat this game," you know, because I know it so well. No, there's no game I I can say that safely to. I mean, I could beat uh, Persona Four and Persona Five without a, using you know one of those guides. But I want to use one of those guides for my social link stuff. But you know, if you need. There are websites out there, if you get stuck, that you can look it up. But there, there are times where I get stuck in a game, and I'm not going to lie. I'm going to use a guide. I'm going to pull up a, a website and say, yeah, what am I supposed to do? I'm absolutely stuck because I don't know about you guys. Uh, I work full time, a normal job. I don't have time to sit there and, you know, really kind of put a lot of deep thought into certain puzzles and stuff like that. I know that sounds terrible. It makes me sound like a horrible gamer, uh, but it is... An actual thing where it's like I'm sitting here I'm like I this is not something I can actually spend two three hours on uh, one puzzle here uh, we're gonna use YouTube we're gonna use uh, IGN powerpicks.com we're gonna use all these different websites to help us uh, maximize our playtime that's our ultimate goal here it looks like there's a fire here and I just lit myself on fire at least when Jin lights himself on fire in comparison to some games it doesn't last very long and then I do that, and I feel like an absolute idiot. Just kind of flinging myself off a cliff here. So, I don't know. I think I'm going the wrong way. Like I said, we got to find the white leaves. White leaves, white leaves. Where are you, white-leaved trees? We need to find this hot spring, though. That's pretty dope. Now, the cool thing about this is when we pull up the map, we get an idea of the area where we need to go. It's not going to tell us exactly where we need to go on the map uh, because we have to kind of search for it. We have to act actively look for what we need to find. Pretty dope that the game does that for us uh, to an extent. It's not going to tell us exactly where we need to go, which is, to me, it's a little on the frustrating side from time to time, but it is what it is. So, I think we're going to do this hot spring real quick here. And once we do the hot spring, we'll go back to our search. It will let us do the hot spring? It will. We grew up together, but he threw it all away. How long will it last, Ryuzo? How long until the Mongols get tired of your excuses? I wonder if I'm going to get in trouble for the naked man, but I wonder if that's going to get me in trouble there. Uh, if so, I'm not going to do any more of <laughs> the springs in these videos. Uh, a cool feature I noticed in a lot of uh, more recent games from what I've read online is they do have like a streamer mode, uh, which I think would also attain, uh, pertain to what we're doing here. Uh, a game like Cyberpunk, it has what we call streamer mode where all the licensed music is turned off, which I think is actually pretty cool uh, since there's been a lot of issues ongoing with Twitch. We do use Twitch uh, every once in a while. If you guys want to check out our Twitch channel, it's uh, Anger Banjo on Twitch. Uh, I set that up ages ago, apparently, and I totally forgot about that, but... We do have a Twitch channel. 
Uh, we don't really stream as often uh, due to a lot of things. Like I said, working a full time job, and then we're playing these games more for you know putting together videos for the channel. It, it doesn't really coincide with putting together uh, streaming. And a lot of people stream. They stream you know sing you know multiplayer games with people. We'll see. We might start using that Twitch channel a bit more uh, if I can work on the kinks. I don't know how to really stream from my laptop. I'm not the most technical person in the world. You know, I have this expensive-ish laptop here, and, you know, we just started playing games on it. And, you know, most of our gaming is done on the PlayStation consoles. So, you know, expect a lot of that. We're going to be playing, like I said, yes, we're called that JRPG Bro. I'm that JRPG, JRPG Bro, and that is my forte, my specialty. But not everyone loves JRPGs, and we're gonna play. We're gonna play a lot of JRPGs though here. But we're also gonna play games like this. You know, Sony first party major exclusive titles. We're we're gonna kind of mix it up every once in a while. You know, I'm looking forward to to what is it, Ratchet and Clank. Really looking forward to that. You know, growing up playing those games. I think we figured out where we're going here too. Uh, I'm really proud of myself here. 2021 uh, got a lot of great games coming out. Curious what you guys are looking forward to. Let me know down in the comments section. What game are you guys most excited for in the first half of 2021? Those of you guys know who me, know me know what I'm looking forward to right away. There's actually three games that are coming out in that first half of the year, I think, that I'm looking forward to. Uh, I mean, we don't have a release date for Action Clank, but we know it's coming. Just like we don't have a release date for Horizon. I think it's like Forbidden West or whatever. I don't know what it's called, but we don't have a release date for that. I'm looking forward to that one. We love Zero Dawn. Fantastic game. And we're back to where we started from. So we kind of looped around here. Do we go this way? I'm definitely a little lost here. This is why I'm kind of changing the subject to get for everyone to forget that I absolutely got lost here. Now, I, I think we're actually headed towards one of those, like, shrines. And if you guys... Uh, the shrines are going to be more of like a puzzle kind of challenge thing, more like Assassin's Creed, like parkour challenge. It, it there, there's, there's a decent amount of them. They'll give us a charm. Uh, they're fun to do, but they're also frustrating to do because like we just kind of wandered around here for a few minutes here, and now that we know where we're going, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a pretty stupid person because the answer was literally right in front of me the whole time. Now, a lot of these you couldn't actually do, by the way, in case you are wondering about these shrines. You can't really do them, uh, most of them, in the beginning of the game. You kind of have to wait until we get near the end of the first uh, act to really get through some of these. And I say that because you need the grappling hook that we get from Taka. So here we go. We uh, pay our respects to the shrine. Get a cool little, like, cutscene, kind of. And notice there's a lot of uh, weather anomalies here. The, the weather does change. Uh, the storms are based off of how you play the game. If you're playing the game more stealthy and using more ghost techniques, we're going to have more stormy weather. So if, keep that in mind. Yes, you can actually change that in case you are wondering. There is a way to change it. Uh, I, I don't know off the top of my head uh, the exact way to change it. I think if there's a, if we had to play something on our like flute or whatever it is. So right now we're trying to figure out where we're supposed to go. So I thought we were supposed to go up there for these white leaf trees. Yes, must have gathered leaves from here. And there you go. You see these trees here. So we kind of kind of look in this general area. So now there it is. we kind of have a ballpark area of where we have to go here. Like those bleached by lightning in the tail. So right now we have to find a way to get over there. Um. Obviously, we could easily just jump down there like a total absolute idiot. And that is something we are. We are <laughs> pretty stupid. That would be something that would cross my mind is jumping down and kind of just killing myself. Obviously, you know, your resolve won't help you in this case. I wonder if, it, yeah, we can actually climb down. Sometimes there's areas, sections of the wall you can't climb down. This isn't Genshin Impact or uh, Breath of the Wild where you can pretty much climb anything, which is actually a really cool thing uh, about those games. Is you can climb virtually any surface uh, within reason. We had to use some resolve there. I'm a stickler for having full health. That is something uh, that I like, I prefer. I know, like, that... I OCD about that, not gonna lie. In every type of game, I'm very OCD about my max health situation. Uh, JRPGs, if you guys are watching our Persona videos at the same time here, uh, you guys notice I like to make sure my health is at max, which is why there's certain items that I absolutely love in those games where they kind of... Uh, Victory Cry, the move Victory Cry, attached to your Personas. Boom, love it. 
I mean, it's just how it is. Uh, there are some games where, uh, if you guys watched our Chrono Trigger videos, same thing. I'm very OCD. Because you never know what the next fight's going to be. You never know what the next fight's going to be. Next fight could be the fight that you need to have that full HP uh, situation. We got a lot of Mongols here to kill. I don't, I, I don't understand why there's so many of them. Uh, that's a little crazy there. So I think we got. Nope, this guy's running away. Run away, little man. And yes, because of our ghost armor, they have a higher percentage of having fear being inflicted to them, and they're going to run an abject terror, uh, which is a fantastic special ability if you want to kind of lower the amount of enemies you encounter. I think right now it's between 40 and 50% based on our armor that we have here. Let's see what's going on. Is that, guy, that guy's still alive. Boom. Done. You, you, you're, you're dead, man. You're dead. Trying to figure out exactly where we're supposed to go. I think... Nope. We got to save this guy. Did we kill everybody here? Yep. There was a man named Yasuhiro with these Mongols. Mm. He wanted to learn the heavenly strike from my grandfather and took him away. Your grandfather's in danger. Where did they go? His old training ground. A dueling ring on the Komatsu coast. Please, save him. So now we have to save this guy's, I think he said grandfather. So we got this interesting situation here where we kind of have to take care of this real quick. And trying to figure out where we're supposed to go here. Um, all of a sudden it's nighttime and now it's raining. This is definitely a weird, interesting situation we found ourselves in. Uh, needless to say, we're going to kind of head this way here. Yasuhiro cannot learn the heavenly strike. No, he can't learn the heavenly strike. It's my job to learn it. Or I already know it. Um... I think we're getting closer to where we need to be here. Let's see. We found a fox den, which is awesome, by the way. Fox dens are going to help us out uh, in the game. If you guys are playing the game for the first time, definitely want to get all the fox dens. Uh, you get to follow a really adorable fox, and uh, at the end, you can pet him. That's right, you can pet a fox. No other game lets you pet a fox that I can think of aside from, like, Pokemon, if you have the fox Pokemon. Uh, that's a little fun fact there. I know other games let you pet animals, too. Stand and fight. We have to be going in the right direction because we found some Mongols to kill. I know that sounds silly to say, oh, we found some Mongols to kill. We better uh, get ready to kill them, you know what I mean? So we got one, two... Are we going to be able to get the trifecta here, or are we going to mess this up? We got the trifecta. See, I told you guys we can actually get all—we can get three in a row if we, uh, if we really try hard. We believe in ourselves. We'll be able to do it. That's the thing. Believe in yourself. Ooh. There we go. Take care of this guy here. And, I mean, the fact that the game has such, like, dark and bright colors, it does kind of throw you off at night sometimes. Especially right now with the rain, trying to find out where we're supposed to go. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it is definitely a bit on the frustrating side because, like I said, I don't know the exact area we're supposed to go in because it's so dark out and the rain doesn't help. And everything's dark colors right now. So I am curious if, like, we can get it to daytime or if this is going to happen at nighttime no matter what. Obviously, the lightning strikes are giving us an idea where we need to go. So... Someone got that tree down in order to cross. Thank you. 
We're just gonna definitely cross that little bridge here. And now we gotta kill some more Mongols, so this will be fun. Just kinda try and hope we can actually get through some things here. And we actually triggered our, sh our, our ghost mode, I guess. It's sort of like this really cool thing you get later in the game. Where we can literally kill up to like three or four people in one fell swoop. It's all basically black and white, very Sin City-esque. Yeah, in the bottom corner of our screen, the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you see that uh, little meter there. Every enemy we kill successfully, it builds up. Obviously, once we get hit, if we can kill like four or five enemies in a row without getting hit, we get that ability back. If we uh, get hit, it goes back down to zero. Which is frustrating because there could be a specific time you actually want to use it and you can't because you done goofed up. And I think we're going the wrong way. I actually think we're backtracking right now. So we got to kind of turn around here and go the right way. So we're going the right way. So sometimes the map, the game does kind of throw you around. It kind of set, you kind of end up going backwards. I'm not going to lie. That is definitely a very frustrating situation. We end up going backwards here. What has Yasuhira been doing? Poor man. Killed by Yasuhira. Blade has seen many duels. Footprints, still fresh. Yasuhira Kuga, the butcher of the rebellion. Time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yorikawa burned, boy. For 15 years, I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you. Right now we're gonna get a duel here. It's first. Very interesting situation here that we have. And like I said, we get that little boss fight every once in a while. So pretty much we gotta wipe this guy's health down as quickly as possible here. And I mean there are ways that we can kind of nerf it like we are now. We have our full ball of resolve, so we are able to use like special abilities that will really give us that little bit of a boost. Obviously we have to be careful because we could lose health pretty quickly. That red bar means we can't dodge, we can't block. We do want to be able to block, dodge, parry. We have to time everything just right. At the same point in time, I gotta be very careful because it's definitely on the frustrating side. You know, your health's going down and we missed that. I don't know if that took down our resolve here, but we are just like, kind of like, nerfing the bejesus out of him. For, boy? Not waiting, studying, learning. We're really giving it to this guy here easily here obviously we used all our resolve up already so we're kind of screwed in this situation here there we go let's see I've got it now I have to use the heavenly strike to wipe him out Strike couldn't save you. Now that we finished the heavenly strike, this was like a great place for us to call break, guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm that JRPG bro. Make sure you guys you deserve greater respect than this. Make sure you guys come back. I have more Ghost of Tsushima coming your way and a bunch of other content. Don't go anywhere. Make sure, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. I promise I'll use Shigenori's technique to protect Tsushima against all who would harm it.